Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Goku Hishorden. This is part 4 and in this part we're taking on Piccolo Jr. Once we see what he does with this guy. This is the demon ceiling wave that trapped the original Piccolo in uh, the little jar thing. Uh, it was a technique developed by Mutaito, I think his name was, the guy who taught Master Roshi and the Crane School guy, Tien's master. I can't remember his name. I want to say Shen Fu, but I don't think that's right. Okay, so Piccolo countered it and uh, sealed the dude in there instead, which was Kami. Now Piccolo's getting all angry, Tien's getting angry. Master Roshi is just being Master Roshi, he's probably saying boobs. And yeah, I'm just like uh, wondering why he's not dead. And Master Roshi's like, look at all the boobs. There's more talking. There's a lot more talking here. I can't remember. Krillin's still alive. Okay. So now we actually have the fight between Goku and Piccolo Jr. Um, we have a little bit more HP and only two more battle power. Uh, we should have, we do. This is a new technique. I'll explain that shortly. But first, let's check if we have any others. Nope, no new ones there. So we're going to power up. No, we're not going to power up. We're going to use Tayorkan, then we're going to power up. And then we're going to use Cho Kamehameha. Which I think it translates to Super Kamehameha. Um, something along those lines. And then we should have a little bit of energy left. So why not use a kick? I love the picture of that, it's so good. A piccolo fight isn't particularly difficult. You have to worry about its techniques, they're quite powerful, especially this one. This one can do quite a lot of damage. It's his weaker energy attack as well. But you can just pretty much soak everything, it's not a problem. Piccolo doesn't like to dodge energy attacks either, so you can pretty much just launch Kamehamehas at him and he'll die. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much key we gain per power up. So I'm, I'm going to take a risk with two. Uh, I don't think two will be enough. So I'm going to use one. And at this point these two do around the same sort of damage. So it's always better to use the weaker one. Okay, did 26 less damage, but it's not worth the extra key. And he's kicking. We can take that head on. Pretty lucky there. And we'll take that one head on as well. There's two phases, maybe three phases to this fight. And you'll get to see those soon. So we can use an energy blast, power up twice, and hopefully have enough energy to pull off a Kamehameha. Let's see. I he blocked it. So two should give us enough to power up. 
Okay, so Piccolo is getting angry. What's this beast going to do? He's going to become a giant. This is when the fight becomes a little bit more difficult. He does more damage now. And he has this technique, which is really cool, really cool sprite, and does quite a bit of damage. I screwed that one up. That was still winning by a lot. So, we should be able to do that, and then we're going to power up again. Yeah, when he's big, he'll have less chance of dodging. This is uh, good information. And, uh, did I skip a picture? When Piccolo turned big, he ate the little jar that had Kami inside. I think I skipped past that. So Piccolo goes inside. Ah, uh, Goku goes inside Piccolo even. And pulls out the jar. And Tien lets him free. And out came Kami. And we haven't taken much damage, so we're gonna just not bother dodging any of his techniques. We'll still try and block though. As you can see, he does even more damage now because he's very angry. He's very tall and very angry. So we can do an energy blast. We can do two and a Kamehameha. Uh, for the final fight, the uh, Cho Kamehameha does a lot more damage than uh, the standard Kamehameha. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. And as we have a lot of HP left, we'll try and take it on. See how much damage that did. That's good, because I'll, you know, lower HP, and the more we gain. So, let's, uh... Use a Kamehameha, and this time we will use yeah, a kick, why not? Oh, he took it. Didn't have enough key. Okay. That's not good. So now we can start doing some dodging because I can still screw up. <sighs> okay. We will do... three. And then a Kamehameha. turn we will do a Taioken first. Right, one, two, and ah oh, missed it. One, two, there we go. Um, Pretty beat up right now. 
I could use an energy blast and then a Kamehameha, but I'm going to use a Taioken just in case. And I could use the Senzu Bean, but I'm not going to. Hopefully, this will do a nice bit of damage. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. So he didn't do any attacking moves. energy beam and we're gonna use a kick. He's just absorbing it all. Okay we've gotten to lower than a hundred now. I think I have to survive this turn. He has loads of energy. Okay. We survived that, luckily. He's actually not that difficult. I should have avoided that energy beam that did 190 damage. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put everything into this last attack. to use a Kamehameha. We kind of need both of these to hit, and that didn't. I never did that. Well, crap. That puts me in a very bad situation. We need to dodge this. I almost screwed that up as well. Hmm. I'm not sure we have the energy to do that, so I'm going to let's do a kick. Hopefully. This will have enough key to do this. And we did. Well, we did some damage. We had exactly the right amount of key. Now we really need to survive this one. Okay. Yeah, you keep doing that, that's fine. As you can see, he's got 38 key. Um, well, I have n zero key, so I'm going to have to use three. And I come in my heart and I have to pray it hits. Please hit, please hit. If it hits, he's dead. He's dead. There we go, that was pretty close. stat gain. I, I can't tell you anything that's happening there, really. Uh, it's kind of unimportant. So, Goku's the champion of the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. And he's pretty beat up. And now we can see our stats. Our battle power is 946. HP, key, speed, attack, and defense. Now in the next part, that will be raised even higher because we have some training to do, and we will talk to Chi Chi, and Yamcha, and I'd like to say Jirobi. He tells us that, well he gives us a sense of being, and tells us 
to go see Kami. No, he doesn't tell us to see Kami because Kami's right there about to kill Piccolo. But Goku stops him. And they have a little talk and he's like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do some trading and make sure Piccolo can't do any damage. Just leave him alone, let him live. And all that sort of stuff. <coughs> so they s summon the dragon, wish, all, wish back all the people that Piccolo killed. And our stats are the same. And we'll talk to Yamcha. No, Yajirobi. Damn it, I knew it was a Ya. Piccolo's back. There's Krillin. Powerless to do anything. And Chi Chi. I think Piccolo was just saying it's going to go off train and get stronger to kill Pic uh, Goku. And this is where Goku remembers who Chi Chi is and that he promised to marry her. If you have any training, come to me, Goku, and I'll train you. It's pretty much what I worked this out to be as a guess. So Goku goes off with Chi Chi, gets married, and he's pretty happy. So I'm gonna end this part very soon. Chi Chi's getting angry because Goku's gonna go off and train. And here he is with Kami. So I'm going to end this part here because in the next part there's going to be three training exercises to do. Uh, usually I wouldn't do all three. I would focus on one but I'll go through each one in the next part. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next part.